Failure safety in vehicle electrical systems and electronics is the biggest challenge faced by automotive developers in this decade. The number of factory recalls has quadrupled during the past 10 years, caused to a large extent by the electronic systems. The increasing range of features, especially with regard to comfort and safety, will make this rate rise even higher. The problem of reliability affects all manufacturers and will become more dramatic since the amount of electronics used in vehicles will increase by 10% each year until 2015 according to the prognosis made by the suppliers. Active safety systems such as ABS and ESP, adaptive cruise control and constantly new security features are only intermediate steps on the way to more comfort, safety and performance. German companies have traditionally been ahead of the competition in this field. Although mastering system complexity and innovativeness constitute success factors of the domestic automobile industry, the negative headlines of the last few years regarding recalls and failures have tarnished image and revenues. Manufacturers and suppliers are fighting on many fronts. In order to be able to offer attractive products, innovations must be developed. And today, these are based mostly on electronics and software. Software-intensive systems are becoming more complex, more networked, more difficult to master overall, and thus more prone to failures. It is exactly these failures and the resulting dissatisfied customers that the automotive domain cannot afford. Neither can it afford expensive countermeasures, like those that are common in the area of investment goods because the cost pressure in the domain demands economical solutions also for the software. In the case of investment goods such as trains or planes, the risk of failure is minimized by redundant design and extensive checking of critical electronic elements, the best way for relatively low quantities at high prices. For the car, as a mass product subject to cost competition, alternative ways must be found. The search for new ways in quality assurance in the automotive industry is one of the core business areas of Fraunhofer IESE in Kaiserslautern. Basically, we are asking, what do I have to do to produce the software for a modern automobile with the quality of an airplane and at the price of a mass product? The solution can often be found in the software architecture, which must satisfy both growing technical demands and cost pressure. One of the challenges we face, especially in the case of automobiles, is the incredible multitude of model variants, which lets the customer choose from millions of possible variants. Depending on the combination, the software may have to react differently. This complexity of the correlation can only be handled using models and building blocks. Therefore, similar to what is done in classical production, we follow the strategy of reusing parts also in software development. Reuse requires that adaptability is taken into consideration early in the development of the software architecture and that certain parts are made for it. Here, support comes from the so-called product line approach, which automotive manufacturers have already been following in many of their production processes for quite some time. Our products have a high proportion of software, which continues to increase further. Today, software product lines help us offer leading systems and components flexibly and with optimized quality. The functionality, the quality and the number of possible variants depend on the competence of our employees and the software development competence of the entire organization. With the support of the Fraunhofer Institute for Experimental Software Engineering, we continuously develop and evaluate new processes, methods and technologies in order to continue playing on the front lines of software well into the future. During software development, variants are also planned systematically, such as different variants and future extensions of a navigational device. Model-based approaches help master the complexity and present correlations on different levels of abstraction. Software tools use these models and support the engineer. Simple units can be tested relatively well in the context of their specification. 
By means of modern procedures, such as statistical testing, quality can also be evaluated quantitatively. Often, defects hidden in the jungle of functions lead to failures deep inside the complex interaction of the control devices. With the help of simulation and hardware-in-the-loop tests, even distributed systems can be tested efficiently. In each case, the goal is to achieve maximal safety and reliability with moderate costs. Automotive safety, however, not only means protecting the outside world from annoying system failures. Fraunhofer IESE also deals with security, that is, the opposite, namely the protection of the systems against attacks from the outside. In the future, it will be increasingly possible to directly influence a vehicle from the outside, for example, via mobile radio interfaces. Manufacturers must then ensure that unauthorized persons will not manipulate a car's functions in this way. If, for instance, long-distance maintenance is performed after a breakdown, reliable authentication must protect the driver from abuse and transmit comprehensive information to the garage about the vehicle, the driver or owner. Once again, the key is a customized software solution, which IESE can provide support for. Using engineering style methods. Software is no longer programmed, but rather constructed. This prevents errors and increases productivity. For the automotive industry, this can mean fewer failures, more safety, and happier customers. <laughs>